Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Josie's Point of View, where we focus on human interest stories throughout the Carolinas. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to say welcome. I'm so glad you're tuning in. And if you're a returning reviewer, as always, thank you so much for sharing this time with us. Our story today comes from the Marine Corps base at Camp Lejeune in North Carolina. Take a look at the headline. And it reads, Camp Lejeune Marines arrested for armed robbery. I'll provide you with a summary here and I'll place a link to a few of the full articles in the description box. This story is probably not what some of us may think about when we say the few, the proud, the Marines. And I'm sure the Camp Lejeune leadership is pretty embarrassed to have to deal with it. But it was trending a few weeks ago and I've decided to share it with you. But I want to encourage you to stick with me until the end and I'll share with you what I think about this situation. So back in August of this year, I believe the published the, um, the published report said it was August the 10th around midnight. There was a reported robbery, armed robbery, in the parking lot of a local Catholic church in Surf City, North Carolina. And as you can see from this map here, Surf City is a short distance from Camp Lejeune Marine Base. MapQuest State is approximately six, 16 miles from the base and about a 26 minute drive depending on traffic. But anyway, during the robbery, it was alleged that three victims were robbed of cash and a cell phone during the incident. The investigation into the robbery was conducted by both the Navy Criminal Investigation Service as well as by the local civilian police department in Surf City. So you had both the civilian as well as military agencies doing the investigation. And among those filing the complaint as a victim was a 21-year-old Marine Lance Corporal named Sean Miller, shown here, assigned to the 2nd Battalion, 10th Marine Regiment there on the base at Camp Lejeune. And as the investigation progressed, investigators were able to established that he, Lance Corporal Miller, had conspired with three other service members to commit the crime. And on the evening of September the 24th, Miller had been ordered into pre-trial confinement and that was going to happen on Camp Lejeune and I'm assuming he was going to remain there until he was going to face charges or at least get bail or have a bail hearing. But Miller fled the post that same day, causing several agencies, including the Navy CIS, to be out looking for him. And at that point, the base issued a press release about him and the charges he was facing. His quest for freedom did not last long because on the following evening, it was announced that he had been apprehended in Richlands, North Carolina, which is about 26 miles from the base. Now he's being held in the Penda County Jail with a $100,000 bond. Pictures of the three fellow accomplices were not available. We know their names, but not their faces. One has bail already set at $75,000 in Onslow County, and the other two are still on Camp Lejeune awaiting a bond hearing. I guess Lance Corporal Miller has the largest bail because he was the mastermind of the plot, and he also fled from custody, causing several police jurisdictions to be out there searching for him. His next court date is scheduled for October 21st, which is next week. You know, this problem represents a minute percentage of what actually goes on within the armed forces. And we have to acknowledge that the military is no different from our civilian sector. In fact, the problems that we have in the civilian sector, we have some of the same problems within the military, but just at a very smaller scale. The, the advantage we have is that in most instances, we're able to successfully weed them out. And I need to tell you, this does not change my mind or change my perception about the armed forces because I have seen the good the armed forces that has done. I have seen how the armed forces have taken soldiers who may not have a brilliant past and was able to rehabilitate them and, and let them go on and live productive and successful lives. So I am still comfortable in saying still the few and still the proud. 
And that's all I have for you right now. Feel free to leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about this video. And by all means, feel free to like and to share it. And if you haven't done so already, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on that red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And if you click on this notification bell right here, you'll be the first to know whenever a new video is uploaded. I thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.